Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the highest difficulty. We have officially quote unquote reached the end of the game after 180 days. The game tells us that's as much content as they have uh, developed so far. But um, we are not going to give up. I still want to progress into the end game and show you some really, really nice uh, end game footage. A uh, little bit atypical. We are um, we are not starting with a mission. Instead, we're starting with a lot of upgrades. We have almost nothing left in our base storage because I have sold everything plus the kitchen sink. Basically, to get our air superiority back. And today, we are going to double check if that has actually worked. Got two phantoms right here. Low health. Uh, not so good. What kind of UFO are we talking about? Medium. Hmm. Well, let's launch both of them and uh, see how well we're going to do. A large UFO on a low altitude. Oh, no, 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 no. Slow time and center. That bad boy up there might require some Asian intervention. Unfortunately, our normal aircrafts are not equipped to fly that long. Biggest problem by far is just shooting the UFOs down. It's incredibly frustrating. To have basically the best aircraft and then not being able to do anything with it, right? Phantom 1 here, Phantom 2 here. Let's see how well this is going to go. I do have my doubts. We're coming in. Can we get the abductor down? No chance. See? And that is the frustrating part about it. Yes, we only had 50% of our health, but god damn it, it's a medium UFO. An abductor. It's not a war UFO. That big UFO we can't even attack at the moment. It's crazy if you think about it. My tactic though was sound. I feel this uh, dual attack here is the right way to go. Angel 1 is a bit further behind. Alright, let's show us what you got. Okay, fair enough. We injured it enough to finally, finally get an abduction mission going. And boy, oh boy, are we going to do this mission. I am beyond pissed about the continuous UFO threat. So we're putting all of our soldiers in here. Um, I want to maybe change the equipment just a little bit. Well, question is, where are the stun batons? I thought that Dilly G had the other one. Okay. Good. Now, on that note, I think we're just 
going to go in with the sun batons in hand because believe it or not they are actually quite handy as offhand weapons absolutely like them in terms of normal weapons we haven't produced any further gauss uh, weapons at the moment which is fine I think having a few laser weapons isn't too bad overall. No, that's actually quite good. So let's launch the dropship and uh, give it a go. Mission throughout the day, which is good. So let's commence a tactical battle. Here we go, guys. Good, we landed. Ooh, look at that. Got a couple of sec... Oh, got even more sectors. Oh! Got even more sectors. Well... What we don't want to happen is take a lot of Overwatch fire. You are kidding me, right? Let's get this guy down. Ten shots from uh, Jim are more than enough to teach him a lesson. Moves out. Big fat suppression. I like that. Billy takes him down and moves back in. All right, so then with regards to the rest, we are moving up. And that's a nice little stun. That is even more of a stun. We lost a few hit points in the shield. Okay, we're one short of actually getting him down. Uncle Nuber moves up. We're taking the pistol. And that Scion is unconscious. I like it. That might be a kill. Also unconscious. Okay, cool. Epi moves up. Good. And in terms of sniper support, we're positioning ourselves here. Very good. So two down, two unconscious. If we're capturing more aliens, that means we can sell them for a higher price. They were 20k a pop. And that means I can get more upgrades. Uh, there is, by the way, an alien back here. And one back here, for sure. That sounds a bit like cyber discs flying. Cyber discs were always fearsome opponents. Okay. Ah. Not exactly as. I would have predicted it. Uh, 
Happy moves up. We spot an enemy. And we're definitely suppressing them. Before shooting them down. Yeah, let's just open this one here. Hey, well, can't even shoot through it. Well, that's a bit stupid. Moving up. Just want to double check. There is nothing out here yet. More enemies, okay. Putting up a sniper here allows us to take a 100% shot. Nice, very well. Tilly can follow the footsteps and we're actually getting one further enemy down. Got another sniper shot from zero here. And Zoe will cover that entire side. Okay, that's a big UFO. Which also explains just how, why we're seeing so many enemies here. We've landed and I think we're already down six or seven sectors. More enemies spotted. Dilly moves up. Takes a single shot, but unfortunately not successful. Anders needs to put some more vision range here. Another sniping shot and we're good. Okay, let's move the firing line. There might be more enemies coming up. I 
And I think we need another sniper maybe all the way over here so that we can shoot into this direction if needed. Nick Nick moves up. So he moves up. Okay. Good turn. Specifically opening up that portion here. Need to remove more cover. Right over here, for instance. If you get the hedges away, then it is much, much more easy. Something is happening inside of the UFO for sure. Okay, we're reloading. Anganuber moves up. And takes shot but isn't killed. Or even hurt for that matter. Nice little hit. The G has a 100% chance to hit. <laughs> Destroys him. Nothing more than gore left over. Look at you, hiding in the brushes. Good, we got a couple of good shots in. There we go. Epi moves up. Moving up here. JP moves forward. Good, I think Tony could move a bit forward as well. Better, better aiming angles and we're good. We're good. We spotted most of the stupid sector it's out. And not very surprisingly on the broader battlefield, once we remove cover, they can't really like weasel around and hide behind straw balls or behind a hedge. Nah, no such thing. We're just removing it. And we will be coming in closer and closer and eventually we're going to get uh, we're going to get them down.
I have to wonder though, I think it is beneficial to actually open the door. Well, we heard that someone was hurt um, behind the door. We already know the door isn't safe. Yep, there we go. I got uh, first few enemies spotted out. Nice little triplet hit. Good, good. One down. Open up, hunkering down, and got the next one very well. Thankfully, these guys were already injured, so we're, we had a much easier time. Dilly G runs all the way over there. Zero begins to move as well. Ender's, uh, Ender's striker is moving over there. Tony with a sniper also gets into a better position. Everybody slowly but surely progresses forward. We have enough overwatches. As long as we can remove the stupid doors, we should be fine. Laser weapons are excellent in doing... Oh, what? Dilly took a 49 points of damage hit? Ridiculous. And we hit ourselves for 16. Well... <sighs> I hate it when these random events occur. I had such a nice position... And Dilly got uh, hit very, very badly. Move in. Beating him unconscious. Good. Let's hit the door. And let's hit him. Very well. Moving up. Moving up. Shields are going in. I like that. Good, that means everybody can have clear shots. 
which is great. Um, yeah, let's just wait here for now. Good. Very good. <laughs> okay. Nice. I assume this guy regrets just stepping in. Laser weapons. Open that, please. And open that. Good. Do we have another laser weapon? Yes. Let's open that. Okay, there are teleporters. I'm not 100 sure. I think this is not a teleporter. Not sure though. We're just going to wait one more round. I think for now we're fine. I like the fact that laser weapons can remove cover so efficiently. Alright, Jim moves up, turns around, hunkers down. We're moving in closer. Need to make sure that we're not hitting each other, so I want to be a bit mindful here. The snipers might as well stay a little bit further back. We should be fine.
But we need flashbangs when we're going up there. Generally speaking, we are almost done though. Epi moves up. Throws a flashbang. Kind of moves around the corner. One. Two. And then we're moving over here. Three. Gosh, this guy can take a beating. Got a nice little scientist. I like that. Interesting. So apparently there is a third floor. Holy macaroni. Good, we're bringing everybody in. And next turn, we need to get uh, to the upper floor. All right, end of turn. Snipers are staying outside for now. Nice little console here. Would be a shame if something would happen to it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to overload one side here. It's going to be our entrance point next turn. Good, and if anyone, if any of them just comes down, I think they will be shot in no time. The stun batons are super good in close range. I like them.
Okay, flashbang it is. And off we go. Move up. You look like someone that we would want to capture. Pistol moves up. Takes shot. Guy doesn't want to go down. All right, now he's unconscious, right? Right? Good. And we might have killed the boss. Which is a shame because getting killed by the pistol of all weapons. Eh. Anyways, very solid mission and we got a lot of captives out of it. Considering that we needed four, um, four aircraft to actually get it down we've done considerably better than i would have expected these adductors are not easy to get down and maybe the trick is not to only have two but essentially three um jets to to hunt them down maybe that is how the game wants us to play it all right after action report we got a couple of injuries and Billy G finally got uh, the Crimson Heart for 30 hit points damage. He never really took a lot of damage. The G is typically too far away to take it. Yeah, we're seeing moderate stat growth. Not a lot. As everybody already has like maximum stats. Okay, wait, 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 launch aircraft. We need to re refuel a little bit. Abductor, 280 health. It's a lot of health. They, these guys are dealing a lot of damage and it's a lot of health. Advanced alloys, what does that do? What does that even do? Create more advanced soldier equipment and aircraft design. Okay, finally. I'm still struggling a lot with the aircraft battle here. Maybe I just need to build more aircrafts uh, then. But if I'm just looking at, at the sheer stats of our aircrafts, the enemies have 280 hit points, right? We're coming in at 150, which means two of our um, phantoms together have just as much air, uh, firepower as one of them. And then I'm wondering, the Gauss Blaster shoots four times at 60 points of damage. So in the first second, it is as much damage as the long range missile, which deal now nah, even more. Range six, and these guys here are range three. So their only disadvantage really is the low range. Does this here help us? Destroys a lot of armor four, but that destroys even more armor. So, for the love of my life, I cannot fathom why we couldn't shoot enemies down with those phantom aircrafts. I just don't understand it. A normal UFO. I'll get three phantoms and we put in a solid mix. I'll get some rockets as well. 
And if it's then not working, I have absolutely no idea how to how to deal with it then. Getting a little bit more ar armor here and a little bit more fuel. Good. I think now is enough. Unfortunately, these guys are spreading terror. And our aircraft is out of commission. So, what am I supposed to do? We got a third one coming in soon. But first, we're finishing fusion warheads, which apparently seem to be the latest gig. So with them, I hope that we have really, really strong rockets. Yeah, I just need to let that UFO fly. America is too far away, can't really help it. So we got the fusion warheads now, which let's take a short look, shall we? Fusion missile, 60 points of damage. And this here deals 40 points of damage. This does not go through armor, right? But we're only having one missile. That sounds like a horrible trade compared to the Gauss Blaster. On the other hand, this one here is front loaded damage, 60. Large amounts of armor, but have very limited ammunition. Look, that's not bad, and having a fusion missile here is not bad either. I wonder if it would have made sense. It seems almost like a weapon downgrade than an upgrade. They do have two cannon hard points, which tells me these guys are actually made to, you know, fly and... Um, maybe I need a mixture. Maybe that is it. Maybe we're having these here as the spear spearheads. And then, like, two aircrafts left and right next to them. Could be it. So that the aircrafts actually, uh, the other uh, mm, the other aircrafts are actually shooting with the, uh, with the missiles. I can, yeah, I can see that specifically fusion torpedoes or going to make a lot of uh, a, a very high impact these bad boys here are fast so they get quickly um, to the target i could shift one of them to asia A triplet of phantoms definitely isn't as good. We need... Uh, the others have more weapon hard points, right? So equipment hard point. That's what the phantoms are missing. I don't think... I, I don't fully understand the design decision. The phantoms cost so much more. And really aren't that... From a weapon standpoint, aren't that good. Maybe I'm missing something, but... I have missed to attack uh, that big guy. Triff has at least sent some 
of our interceptors. All right, launch interceptors. Health isn't looking pretty, but might as well start to engage. It is just flying faster than we are. And Asia now has 73. Launch interceptors, America, let's go. Return to base. Not good. All right, wait, 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 wait. That's great. We got an, another terror mission. And we're going to do that in a second. The aliens now are starting to try to spread terror. So this will be important. Suggestion, by the way, for terror missions, there should be a bonus for actually doing them well. Currently, it's just, if you lose them, 30 panic. If you win them, yeah, tough luck, tough titties, you uh, will unfortunately not gain anything. And I think that's not fair. So very soon we got the next Phantom Interceptor, okay? So that's what we're building up with. Then... Those automated modules seem very tempting. Upgraded grenades into further upgraded grenades. And then we do have electroshock grenades, which is good. What we do not have yet is the money to upgrade kind of uh, the surgical center, which I think would be helpful. That would be fantastic as well. So, yeah, we're far away from our next financial gain. But I would say the next financial one, we're always getting kind of around two mil, but with the interceptors is now, of course, becoming a bit more expensive. But what we would want to do is we want to build two more ra uh, radar stations. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, just so that we have the maximum radar. That's already 800 grand gone. Potentially another Phantom Interceptor. Or, or... Or we're putting one Phantom Interceptor in each location. Hmm. Nah. We have a triplet of phantom interceptors in our main base so yeah we essentially we would get one more phantom interceptor so we're at 1.3 mil weapons are upgraded already then what's the most important stuff we're okay with workshops so far of course could be better and so on i think that uh, surgical center is great Upgraded med kits aren't bad either. I absolutely love the jetpacks, but I got a feeling that these will become important way, way, way later. And we got stalker armor. Okay. Armor 18. Guardian armor 30. So it's actually a substantial downgrade. But what do 100% gas resistance? Guys, this needs some review. Okay, it has zero weight. I get it. It's good for starters. While Sin Guardian Armor has 25 weight. So you could put other stuff in there. For instance, that plus... Plus armor plates already kind of gets you to 23, but that's shit. I, there's no other way of doing it. I of saying it. 
seventy-five thousand uh, dollars for stalker armor. Produces one suit of stalker armor for a soldier to wear on a tactical mission. Hmm. Nah. That's bad, bro. That is really bad. Advanced medkins I can get behind. And we do have a few weapons here. I will tell you, one more Gauss sniper rifle definitely makes sense, because we now do have three snipers, and the laser sniper rifle is fine, but the Gauss one is actually better. And with that also one Gauss pistol. I like the electroshock rifle idea. I wonder if it's worth giving up one of our actual rifles for the electroshock one. I mean, it does not penetrate any armor, that's the problem. But 45 stun is good. And 40 EMP isn't bad either if we're fighting against robotics uh, because that automatically penetrates armor. But it only has three shots. Mm. Yeah, I'll think about it. It looks good, but currently the stun baton also looks quite good and seems to get the job done, unlimited ammunition included. So we can always like soften the enemy up. Anyways, that's uh, enough uh, for today. We're going to do the terror mission now and uh, we, uh, I'll air it in uh, two uh, days. Take care and have a good one. Thank you for watching as always. And if you enjoy Zero Nauts, leave a comment and a like down below. You know the drill by now. Take care and see you. Bye bye.